A Sioux Falls woman is charged in a cold case dating back to 1981. Police say DNA evidence led them to 57-year-old Teresa Bentas. According to court papers, she admits she's the mother of baby Andrew John Doe. The infant was left to die in a ditch on the edge of Sioux Falls 38 years ago. Bentas is charged with alter alternate counts of murder and manslaughter. The community came together back in 1981 to give baby Andrew, John Doe, a funeral. While no one in the crowd knew who his mother was, many of them were thinking about her and trying to understand why she did what she did. Kendall and Sarah McDonald takes you back to the day nearly 40 years ago. In March of 1981, people made their way to a Sioux Falls funeral home to pay their respects to baby Andrew, John Doe. The crowd was mostly parents, with moms carrying their own children. A big lesson we learned that we should reach out to people like Andrew's mother and all people that are hurting. A Sioux Falls couple volunteered to arrange the funeral. I think that if she isn't right now feeling a sense of guilt and remorse and longing for the baby, that that will ultimately come in some form. And um, I would like her to know the baby was well taken care of. A local church, lawyer, funeral home, and cemetery all donated services and cars lined up for the drive to St. Michael's Cemetery to pay their respects. While these people didn't know the infant, they wanted to come together to help. There will have to be legal ramifications, I suppose. But I wonder what we can do to a person in this woman's state of mind that she hasn't already done to herself. In Sioux Falls, Sarah McDonald, Kelloland News. And many people also made contributions in Andrew's name to an abused children's fund. To watch the full story back from 1981, we've provided a link under this story on Kevinland.com.